Okay guys, so I know it's a little bit uh, late. It is the 8th day of August. Um, these are gonna be my June and July empties. I'm gonna go ahead and do them. I just want this uh, trash out of here. So the first thing I have here is this saltwater breeze candle from Bath and Body Works. The scent notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, white water blossom with essential oils. If you want something uh, kind of aquatic, but fresh and clean, I really recommend this candle. It's a light scent, not too overpowering, but it's enough to where you can smell it burning in your home. I really like it and I would repurchase that. My daughter's finished up the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I really like this conditioner and I like that it has the pump, which is currently missing, but I would repurchase that for them. It does a really good job on their thick hair. Another item here is the Love Beauty and Planet Conditioner. They hated this. I think they have one more to go through, but I'm not going to repurchase that. A product here I didn't think I was going to like because when I first got it, I didn't care for the scent, but when I was using it, I really like it. It is the Derg Do Bath and Body Don't Dream It Be It uh, Body Lotion. I feel like this is a similar scent to Pink Chiffon. I really like the texture of it. It was super moisturizing, absorbed into the skin really nicely. And I would repurchase that if I knew where I could find it. But I don't, that came in a, a box a while back. So I also finished up the Ali Daily Energy Vitamins. I really like these. I can feel a difference when I take them. They don't make me shaky or jittery. They just give me that little boost that I need to get through the day. And I would definitely repurchase that. Another product here, this is pink chiffon, I'm pretty sure, is the Bath & Body Works Galaxy Mist. This had the shimmer in it. I don't care for the shimmer as much as I used to when I was younger, but I still liked it and I would repurchase it if I could find it. Um, Demons to Stone Corpse Cream. This was Carnal Caramel, Dark Vanilla, and Bloody Saffron. This was a super thick body cream. Um, and the smell... I didn't really care for it was kind of masculine so I'm not gonna repurchase that but it was good while it lasted also finished up the energy orange ginger body and shine shampoo I used to love their shampoos back in the day and I was excited to see this at one of the last semi-annual sales I didn't really love it as much as I remember but I mean I still liked it, it was still good and we probably repurchased that the orange zest and sea spray um, I don't think there are scent notes on here. So this was an extremely light scent. You could barely smell it. I'm not going to purchase that. I don't really like the single wick candles anyway. So one of my all-time favorite candles is the Suntan. This is the three wick. Scent notes are Sunkissed Citrus, Orange Blossom, Coconut Husk with essential oils. This is my favorite scent. I have one more backup and then it's going to be gone. So I'm trying to hold on to that. But yes, that is a definite repurchase for me. Another repurchase is the Hemp Seed Body Mist in Nag Champa. I love this scent. This smells so good. If you want to smell like a hippie, this is it. Um, I got this in a store in the mall, and I'm definitely going to have to go back and repurchase because it's just that good. A product I hated is the Revive Charcoal Lavender Rosemary Shampoo. This, no, no good, no bueno. It, it made my scalp break out, and I didn't like it. Since I do love the scent so much, this is the hand soap and energy. Um, I'm definitely going to repurchase that. I really like it. A body cream in, oh, this is a body wash in sweater weather. I did not like this scent, and I'm not going to repurchase. I like it in the um, home fragrance, but not in body care. I also finished up, ooh, let's just throw it on the ground here. I also finished up the Bonfire Bash. Shower gel, love this scent. I'm going to definitely repurchase. I have another backup, so I don't need it this fall, but next fall I will repurchase that. Another hand soap here in Honolulu Sun. I love this scent. This is in Fresh Island Coconut, Pacific Palm, and Driftwood, and the packaging is beautiful. Definitely going to repurchase that next summer if they have it. I'm sure they will. I finished up the Home Fragrance. This is the Room Spray and Sweater Weather. It's really strong, so just be be warned. This is a fragrance mist and waterless rose and peach. Um, my daughter used this. I guess she liked it. She used it all. It came in a boxy charm, so I'm not going to seek it out to repurchase. Another one of the secret um, deodorants. I really like these. I got it from Dollar Tree. If I could find more there, I would repurchase. 
a hand cream in coconut milk from Bath and Body Works. Love this scent. This is the epitome of summer. Uh, my friend gave this to me at work, and I would definitely seek that out to repurchase. A toothpaste in the Colgate Optic White. One of my favorite toothpastes. I'm always going to repurchase that. The product here I really, really enjoyed is the Deep Focus Hydrogel Eye Patch Purple. So this has got the snail slime in it, and it does give you that tingling effect. It did um, diminish like the puffiness under my eyes. I got it at TJ Maxx for $4.99. I'm definitely going to repurchase these. I love the way they feel. A sample of the Purology Hydrate Share Shampoo. I got this from my hairstylist when I had my hair colored. Um, I don't like it as much as people say they love Purology, so I'm not going to seek that out to repurchase it, but it was okay. I mean, it was okay for what it was. Finished up the first, uh, first Crisp Apple Wallflower. That was really nice. Would repurchase the Rose Water and Ivy. My daughter loves this, so I'm always going to repurchase that. Um, she also used a June Moon in Capricorn Bath Bomb from Witch Baby Soap. She loves their bath bombs and will always continue to use those. Another sample of shampoo my stylist gave me is the Redken Color Extended Magnetics. I do feel like it extended the color of my hair, but red washes out really easy. So, and I was okay with that because I didn't really like the color, to be honest. Um, NYX. This is the setting spray. I really like these. I bought these in a three pack, so I have two more left to get through, but I like that. It's pretty good. Finished up another of the baby lips. I am so happy to see that go. I do not like baby lips unless it's the Dr. Rescue, so I'm not going to repurchase. My girls finished up to the Carmex. Tried and true forever repurchase Carmex. It's the best chapstick there is. Um, this was another of the Revive. This was the conditioner. Hated it. Would not repurchase that. It came from TJ Maxx, by the way. Um, she finished up another bath bomb in the May Full Moon. Of course, she'll continue to repurchase those. Um, you guys know, this is a Never Empty. It's my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Always repurchase that. Finished up a nail polish here in the Zoya. This is Crystal, which is my name, if you didn't know. And then finally got through the rest of these oils. I'm so glad that these are over. These came from Eden's Garden, by the way, in their advent calendar. Um, the first one I have here is Lavender Magnolia. I didn't like any of these, just to clarify. Um, what is this? Uh, Frankincense and Myrrh, hated it. Shine, hated it. Uh, what is this one? Friends and Family, hated it. This one is in Tangerine and Jasmine. I think this one was okay. And last but not least here, oh Lord have mercy, I'm all, I'm all films today, is Joy. Didn't like it either. So that concludes my June and July empties. I don't really have as much here as I thought I did, but glad to see everything out of my stash. And I will see you guys in two months. Bye.